So our normal evening is uh, patrolling the streets. We go through the parks and all the quieter areas of Cheltenham as well as the busy ones. Um, on the lookout for people in distress, people in need, um, any antisocial things going on. Tonight we'll see probably a few people who need maybe to be spoken to. Some people will be ill, some people will be lonely. Um, and uh, generally we're there as a helping hand to do what we can for them. And while we're in the process of doing that, we're picking up bottles, we're sweeping up broken glass, and uh, generally engaging with people that we come across. We'll have chats with anybody and everybody that wants to have a chat. And when we've done that, the night is over and that's great. That's a good night for us. We have approximately 50 street pastors in Cheltenham, enough to do um, a four weekend rotor, Fridays and Saturdays, high days, holidays, race week, that kind of stuff, uh, with at least six street pastors on every team. I joined the uh, pastors about seven years ago. Uh, some people thought it was a, an odd move on my part, <laughs> as I'd been a police officer for 34 years sometime before that, but um, I saw it as an opportunity just to do additional work which very often in the police service we, we didn't have the time to carry out, so I just thought it was a good opportunity to, like, to go the extra mile for people. Give out lollipops to people that want them, water to people that need it, first aid if it's required, and uh, we're in touch with them first with the medical services, the police services. We're in touch with uh, all the door staff. We can hear what's going on on the radios all around the town. So if there's an issue going on, they can just call for us and we'll go. We'll go to wherever that's needed when we're dealing with real homeless people that there's so little practically that we can do. Water, lollies, perhaps a blanket, maybe a scarf and a hat, something like that. But most of all, time is something that we can give them. I used to sleep by the bank up at Lloyd's uh, for about 10 weeks. <laughs> I only had one thin blanket when I first met them and they brought me sleeping bags, food, hot drink, water, anything that I needed they would help if they could and they always check on you every hour or so when they walk down the road to make sure that you're fine. I think they're very helpful when they can be, uh, but they won't give you many or nothing, and I don't blame them, because I am an addict, yes. I take heroin and I take crack. I won't lie. Um, I just have something good to get into, but when you're into it, it's hard to stop. I think it's in some people's nature, but that's why I don't blame people for not giving you money. But the street pastors, I think, as being volunteers as well, we've done a good job. They have a, um, um, a, a good role to serve uh, in the community. They watch out for vulnerable people, um, particularly when it's very cold. Uh, and uh, all new people in town who are not familiar and are on the street and are, um, um, are vulnerable to being robbed or exploited. That was me umpteen times. Umpteen times. Have you got to talk record or what? Yeah. Um, they give me blankets, they check on me when I'm cold, they look behind me to see if I'm sleeping okay. They, they, they good people. They good people. They come round with them other people, I can't think what they call, they other people, they give me this. This is theirs. Um, they bring me water or food, 
than, than sometimes just to talk, just to fucking talk. Sometimes you might think it's alright living out on the streets, but it just fucking ends. Like, sometimes it's fucking hard. And then just someone to speak to you is nice. Not just look at you like you're dirt. Just. I believe that if Jesus was around in 2018, he would be doing what we're doing. He would be with the people. He would be saying to their uh, to their needs, yeah. and he would be a means of bringing God to the people. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very humbling when people come up to you and praise you for what you do when you know really they're praising God because yeah. we are here as I, as I prayed at the beginning to be his hands and feet so it's about what, one o'clock in the morning and I do want to make to myself it's jolly cold it's probably not much above freezing and there are times like this when I think what am I doing especially when it's raining but it's not uh, but we've just passed a whole load of young people in the sound centre drunk and it was really I suppose the idea that if my daughter or son got into difficulty and needed a helping hand then I'd want someone to be there for them and that's probably the main motivation for me. If it wasn't for them, I for the people who date on the train when they clapped. If it wasn't for them, they, some of them would be in hospital worse off than what they could have been. So, you couldn't say thank you to them or not, really. Do you know what I mean? They, they're brilliant. They come in very handy and uh, they're normally only a few minutes away, so uh, it's great to have them around. They're brilliant. You could not ask for better than what nice people. 